Okay, now chapter 7, okay? Dagan Fall shows two processes that occurs in plant cell W during aerobic respiration. Okay, aerobic respiration. Do you have oxygen in aerobic respiration? Yes or no? Yes, okay. Aerobic respiration, there is oxygen. Name the process X and process Y. Process X is where glucose into pyruvate. Where there is glucose into pyruvate, what is process X called? Process X is called glycolysis. Very good. It's called glycolysis. Process Y. It happens in the mitochondria. What is the mitochondria called? As long as it happens into the mitochondria, it means you need to have oxygen. This is what we call as oxidation of pyruvate. Very good. Oxidation of pyruvate. Oxidation of pyruvate. State the differences between process X and Y. We can talk about what? The energy production and also the need of oxygen. So for glycolysis, do you need oxygen? One occurs in the cytoplasm, one occurs in the mitochondria, also correct? Glycolysis, do you need oxygen? The answer is no need. Glycolysis don't need oxygen. Glycolysis is without oxygen. It's a partially breaking down of glucose. It's called glycolysis. There's no oxygen. Huh? Absence of oxygen. Okay, process Y. Presence of oxygen. Okay, next we talk about what we can talk about. Where does it occur? Occurs at cytoplasm. This one occurs at mitochondria. Occurs at cytoplasm, occurs at mitochondria. We can also talk about the energy production for X. They produce how many ATP when there is no oxygen? How many ATP are produced? Only two ATP, correct? Two ATP. For process Y, how many ATP are produced? They produce... <laughs> the answer is not 38. It's 36 ATP because oxidation of pyruvate it's only 36. When do we write 38? When they say this is aerobic respiration, this one is 38 ATP. The oxidation of pyruvate is 36. But this is a very common mistake made by the student because they forgot to read the question. And then they always, add, they always write 36. Uh, the 38, sorry. Plant W was fully submerged in water during flood. Explain what would happen to the pyruvate in that situation. It says that they submerged in water. W submerged in water during flooding time. They ask you what happens to the pyruvate. Oxidation of pyruvate, it requires oxygen. But right now, because they are submerged in water, can they carry out oxidation? Need to write 29 kilojoule, no need. Only aerobic respiration have to write kilojoule. Eh? Cannot, right? You cannot oxidize anymore. Eh? So nothing will happen. The process that will take place is called aerobic, oh sorry, it's called alcohol fermentation. Because there is no oxygen, it's called alcohol fermentation. So you have to say pyruvate, pyruvate will be broken down into three products. Because this is the alcohol fermentation, what is the three product produced? The three products produced are known as known as what? Pyruvate is half of glucose. It's called pyruvate. Ethanol carbon dioxide energy. Very good. Okay. Carbon dioxide ethanol energy. We cannot write CO2 in exam. You can only write carbon dioxide. No CO2, guys. Then we have to write alcohol. Fermentation occurs. Alcohol fermentation occurs. Okay, next. Done already. Next question if you have done. State why the process of lactic acid fermentation in human muscle cell produces less energy compared to aerobic respiration. 
So whenever you talk about when do they produce lesser energy, we have to say whether the glucose, is it completely oxidized or partially broken down? This is a lactic acid fermentation. Lactic acid fermentation means that they have a complete oxidation or partially broken down. It has to be partially broken down. Very good, partially. Whenever you compare energy, remember it's partially broken down. There is no partially oxidized. You have no oxygen, you cannot use the word oxidized. Huh? It's partially broken down. So you have to say partially breakdown of glucose in lactic acid fermentation. And you're going to say, oh, can I read that? Partially break down, can I read it? Like, glucose undergo oxygen depth. The oxygen usage exceed the oxygen produced. Uh, that is under lactic acid fermentation explanation because the question asking you to talk about energy production. So we have to talk about the glucose breaking down. If got oxygen right break down also wrong, there's no oxygen, my dear. You cannot write oxygen because this is no oxygen. Lactic acid fermentation don't have oxygen. No oxygen. So you cannot write the moment you write oxygen means your answer is wrong already. 6.1 shows two individual P and Q in different situation. So you can see the person is resting and the person is running. P, he's resting. I don't know whether you guys feel like P or Q right now, but I think you guys are P. So can you tell me what is P process? Aerobic respiration must be oxidized, correct? Correct, aerobic respiration, very good. What about Q? Q is running. Glucose oxidation process is incomplete. This sentence has an error because there is no oxygen. You cannot write the word oxidize when there's no oxygen. You can only write breakdown. A running means what? It's called lactic acid fermentation. Very good, lactic acid fermentation. So this one is called aerobic respiration. This is lactic acid fermentation. Lactic acid fermentation. Write the word equation representing respiration process that occurs in muscle of P and Q. They ask you to write word equation. Word equation means you cannot write any uh, what CO2, H2O. You have to write the word word. So for P, since this is an aerobic respiration, no matter aerobic or lactic acid fermentation, actually we have to start with the same word. What is the word that you have to use? You start with the same word called what? Glucose. You start with glucose. Does aerobic respiration need oxygen? Yes, you need oxygen, right? Aerobic means you need oxygen. With the presence of oxygen, what do you form? Aerobic respiration, what do you form? They form into three products. Right now, you are doing aerobic respiration. What are you producing right now? All right, you are producing water. And then, energy carbon dioxide. Very good, okay? Carbon dioxide, energy. Then we have lactic acid fermentation. We also start with the word glucose. Start with the word glucose. Do you need oxygen here? No need, my right? No need means what? It means you will only produce into two products. Number one, you produce into lactic acid, correct? Number two, you produce into energy. If you have to write the differences, which is the next question, uh, we can write about the energy differences. First, they ask you, P, aerobic respiration occurs at which part of your body? Aerobic has to start in the cytoplasm, ends in the mitochondria. Aerobic respiration is the fully, fully oxidation of glucose, yes. Do we need to write kilojoule and ATP? This one, or you only write it, and then at the bottom, they ask you to write, and then you write at the bottom because they ask you in the question here, right? Okay, place. So as I mentioned, if it's an aerobic respiration, it takes place where? It takes place at the cytoplasm and mitochondria. 
if it's Q, it's only at the cytoplasm. Okay, total energy production. Since we have enough of oxygen, all glucose, it will be broken down. Can you guys tell me how many energy are produced if it's aerobic respiration? Very good. 2898 kilojoule, 38 ATP. Uh, this will be your favorite number from today onwards, guys. 289838, a very Chinese liking number. If it's lactic acid fermentation, how many kilojoule do you produce? Correct. Uh, 150 kilojoule, 2 ATP. Phone password. Uh. Next time we know your password already. <laughs> okay. 150 kilojoule, 2 ATP. So this is the energy produced for P and Q. In the equation, if you do want to write energy, it's okay. But since they are asking you to compare, you have to know. The other number that you have to know is actually alcohol fermentation. What is the amount of produced in alcohol fermentation? Uh, not either one is together because every ATP is 150 kilojoule. Every 38 means 38 times 2898. So it's actually two different things. Uh, for alcohol fermentation, is 210 kilojoule, 2 ATP. Uh. Maybe I write it over here. La. Alcohol fermentation. Alcohol fermentation. The energy production is 210 kilojoule, 2 ATP. 210 kilojoule to ATP. It's different. So as you compare you running and a braid, you even produce lesser energy compared to a braid. Braid produce more energy than you guys. When you make alcohol, the alcohol got more energy than you when you're running. 6.2 shows two types of plants in a waterlogged paddy field. Explain one adaptation of paddy plant to survive in an environment. In order for the paddy plant to survive, they have a... So use 2 ATP is safer. Mm, not wrong to use two ATP because if you compare ATP of these two things, you cannot just compare two ATP. You have to write the kilojoule if you are comparing fermentation. So anyhow, you still have to remember the kilojoule. If it's these two, you can compare ATP. But if it's these two, you cannot compare ATP. Then you have to remember 150210. Okay, can you tell me why is paddy plant able to live in waterlogged condition? Because paddy plant... Correct, they have a higher tolerance towards ethanol. They will produce an enzyme called alcohol dehydrogenase. Very good, that will be your answer. Okay, we're going to use two. Okay, we're going to write two answers. Just in case in exam you don't remember. You're going to say paddy plant has higher tolerance towards ethanol. Paddy plant cell produce enzyme. Maybe you can write alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme to break down ethanol into into what, guys? Dehydrogenase is an enzyme name. It's called dehydrogenase. Uh, correct. Into non-toxic carbon dioxide. Very good. Non-toxic carbon dioxide is the fixed answer when you ask about berry plant. It's always the same answer. You have to write higher tolerance towards ethanol. Produce alcohol dehydrogenase. Break down ethanol into non-toxic carbon dioxide. It's always the same answer. Predict what happened to the cogon grass. Explain. Can you think the lalang? Lalang is the normal lalang. La. Normal grass that you see is called lalang. Yeah. The energy need to write kilojoule together with ATP, correct? Together with ATP, not to choose one, yes. Can you tell me what happened to the normal lalang if they immerse in water? Can the normal grass survive? So it's like 289 kilojoule for each ATP, yes. Cannot write, they cannot survive because they, they don't have this alcohol dehydrogenase. So they will die when they put it into a water. So during flooding time, there are many plant die. There are many grass die because they cannot withstand the ethanol. I mean, don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing, but you don't want grass in your life, right? So maybe it's a good thing as well. So you're going to say, Corgon grass root were 
damage. Or you can say they will die. The Kogon grass has closed. Stomata in waterlogged condition. Next, this causes respiration, does not occur. So then you can say the plant will die. Touch the grass. What do you mean? Okay, done. So for chapter 7, you have to know about lactic acid fermentation, alcohol fermentation, and also aerobic respiration. They are still how to produce yogurt. I did add into the this part. But you can refer to your notes again. In my notes, there are questions related to how to produce yogurt also. Okay, everybody has questions to ask for chapter 7. Okay, everybody okay? Okay.